She did not need time. She did not want his money. She simply wanted him. Her love had remained with him the entire time. Maybe he'd learn that tonight, she thought, as Marari brushed the dangling diamonds away from her thigh with a gentle hand and leaned forward to kiss it. Or maybe when she'd surrendered all, she reasoned, as his mouth and lips brushed against her skin and he moaned into her flesh. I've thought of you like this, naked, dressed in only jewels, he said, sticking out his tongue as he trailed away from her outer thigh. His movement was calculated, his destination apparent. Don't, don't, Mamari. I can't wait that long. I'll go insane if you force me to endure a slow tease. Oh, okay, I can't. Shh, Eddie, trust me, he whispered against her skin as he gradually pushed her down and onto the couch with his hands. Let me please you. I, I, it's too much, she said, losing her fingers in his hair and trying to nudge his face away from her feminine core, that erotic center, which was his and his alone. She needed aggressive lovemaking, brutal force, the kind that was fast and furious and instantly gratifying. She would lose her mind if she had to indulge in foreplay. She needed him now. Please, Marari, she said, reaching for the waistband of his pants. She deliberately brushed against his front, encouraging his desire for her. She moaned loudly, not exaggerating the emotions running through her body as she felt his anatomy grow. Her high-pitched sounds excited them both as he coaxed her legs into a position he wanted. He leaned into her and explored the sweet center of her essence. His mouth probed and taunted as his desire grew and expanded. No, no, Marari, I have to have you she begged. Still, he ignored her request and sought the delights of her body. He scoured her curves with his hands as he licked and his tongue darted between the emerald sapphires and diamonds of the chastity belt and fevered her flesh with the heat of his mouth. He praised her body adorned in shimmering stones, his hands trailing across her breast encased in the precious gems which excited her areolas and caused them to strain against the gold backing of the cascading jewels. Do you love me? He asked, needing to hear her confession one more time. Am I your man, your lover, your prince? He demanded before giving Aaron what she desired so badly. He was manipulating the situation, but he had to have all of her before he could collapse into the soft interior of her body, before he could drown in the tumultuous whirlpool of passion that beckoned him. I never stop loving you, Marari Varadaraj, she murmured as he positioned himself atop her body and leaned in to kiss her mouth. You are the only man for me. You are what my heart desires, she sighed against his lips and then cried out in passion as he pushed his body into hers. She felt the full strength of his masculinity. It soared through her as they began their session of wild lovemaking.